Yo, what's up guys, uh, it's Torres here, I actually got a lot of questions on my video and on Facebook, so let's do this Q&A, yeah, it's going to be pretty fun, but what I'm going to have to do, I might have to like split this up into different parts, not different videos, but like different sections, so if I like stop talking at one point, you know why. I'm just letting you guys know, so you guys want to be like, what the fuck, what is that, you know what I mean? Alright, so, let's see, I'm trying to get these hard punches out the way first, so, um, uh, let's see, Adam Shields, he asks, this is something that has forever been in my mind, my art moon base matches by now. <laughs> And why did you get declined? That stuff doesn't make sense. <sighs> oh boy. This whole base masters thing is it's it's really old, but I mean, I don't know. Alright, here. Here's the story. I'm gonna break the story down for you guys. Alright, so 2012, uh Base Masters, they kicked out the most of the English speaking people, like uh J Boy and Bulldog and uh, Arter and Dusk and Nova and all those other guys. And when that stuff happened, uh, people started to really hate Bass Masters because they were like, why'd you kick them out? You know what I mean? I don't really want to get into all that, but this is something they did. And then Bass Masters all of a sudden became uh, an all Portuguese crew, like all Brazilian. And we were like, what the fuck? Cause you know, Bass Masters originated in Australia, so they were like, what the fuck are you doing, you know what I mean? So, for about a year, year or two, Bass Masters was hated, like, really hated, like, hated, hated. And then, in the beginning of 2013, Bass Masters showed they wanted to return, and they wanted to return how they used to be. And, what happened? Oh, so... So when they said they were to return, they said they wanted to have tryouts again. Base Masters tryouts. And you know, at first people were like, no, no, fuck you Base Masters, you guys aren't shit, da, 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 you know what I mean? But they actually showed signs of wanting to get back to how they used to be, like high rank. And uh, so they hosted tryouts. And me and my friends were like, well, if they want to be back how they used to be, why not? Let's try to help. So. I tried out, but back then, that's when, like, my videos would barely get 100 views, I barely had any subscribers, and, like, I just, you know, barely got any attention, and I was like, well, and this is when I was getting declined by, like, every crew I tried out for, like, every crew I tried out for, I would always get declined, and I would be like, eh, I'm not gonna make it, I'm just gonna be, like, one of those spare tryouts that nobody's really gonna care about, but... Actually, as time went on, I actually started to get really, real comfortable with the Bass Masters people, and we started to become really good friends. And, uh, in my tryout video, it started to go up to 200, to 300, to 400, to 5. It started to really stack up, and the likes started getting big, and people started to, like, really, you know, chat me on. And I was like, what? I was like, what's going on? Is this a sudden change? I was like, what the fuck? What is this? So, so yeah, but in Bass Masters tryouts, they had the actual tryout, when you send your video in, that was phase one, they had phase two, to where they would send you a personal message, and they would like, they would ask you like these questions say, that you had to ask me. It was pretty stupid, but I mean, I kind of just understood why, so I went for it, and so, I got past the tryout part, and that alone was sick. Cause I was like, wait a minute. So that means people like Siki and uh, and all those other base message guys, they like me. I was like, whoa. So I got past that part, and then randomly, base message sent me an inbox, and it was the survey questions. And I was like, what? I was like, what the fuck? That she was really fucking crazy. So I thought. This must mean, must mean, I'm 
may get into the base masters. And so I answered him, I sent them in, and then like a day before tryouts closed, base masters went through like a f uh, outrageous like downfall. Like they kicked the two people that were trying to help base masters get back to where they were. So that was one of my great friends, my teacher, Lua. He was one of the co leaders of base masters. And they kicked him out and they kicked out the original pole. And uh and the original pole had me in it. So originally I was gonna be in Base Masters. Cause before well, after he got kicked, he made a post like he was ranting or something, but he made a post of the people who were supposed to be in Base Masters along with the other people that made it into Base Masters. I think I can remember. If you guys remember Ron. Ron, like my uh like my guy I shuffle with sometimes, the short guy. It was me. Him, it was me, Ron, it was Matrix, there's Dejanos, there was Vendetta, there was Tony, there was Stick, and I, if I didn't say Vendetta, then Vendetta, the leader of HK, he was in the voting poll too. So all of us, we were supposed to be in base masters along with the other people who got accepted. But when they kicked out the original, the original like voting poll, we got kicked out too. So then we didn't make it. So that's why, if you look at base masters tryouts, I have like a few thousand views. Matrix has a few thousand views. Dijanos does. Ron does. Vendetta does. Tony, all of us do, because we were originally supposed to be base masters of 2013. It was said in the post, but it got deleted because they don't want the people to know. But I know. So yeah, that's why I'm not in base masters. If they didn't kick out Lua and that this other person, then I would be in I would be in base masters right now. I really would, but I'm not. So so yeah. Um on to the next question. Alright. H H R S Raiden Raiden? That's how you say your name? He asks question one. Where can I find shelving crews? I can't seem to find any, so is there like a form? And then, nah man, shelving is, shelving is not that serious man. To be honest, a crew, if you're looking for a crew, they're gonna either have a YouTube channel, as a crew representing itself, and it's gonna have a Facebook page where they're gonna have like the crew having their updates, we can stay updated and stuff. So. That's pretty much where you can find crews. Um, question two: Do you have any tips for someone that mainly does T-step with one foot and kind of glides the other one? Because I want to T-step with both, so I want to learn with other ones. So yeah, I like to do that. Um, for T-stepping, really, all I can tell you, to be honest, is practice. There's not much I can really tell you about that other than practice. Practice is what makes perfect. I practice every day for like three years straight and that's pretty much why I'm the way I am. I can't really give you like a trick for it because the trick is practice. You have to train. You have to train yourself. And and also wait. Hmm. Okay. Do you recommend to shuffle outside? Explain why. Or do you inside barefoot? Explain why. Um, for me, my situation I mean, it depends on the weather, to be honest. Like, if it's hot outside, most of the time, you'll see me shoving in my living room because it's AC and I won't die as easily. Sometimes I'll go outside while it's hot if I'm, it's like a necessary need. Like, if it's for a compilation or a big feature or something for my cruise, and yeah, I'll, I'll go kill myself outside. And... Inside, I recommend doing it barefoot, because, I mean, when you're inside, you're inside, you're in your place. You can kind of let loose, so take off your shoes, you'll be fine. But outside, I suggest wearing shoes, but not really, because sometimes I don't wear shoes. Most, I don't wear shoes at all when I shuffle most of the time. So, I mean, it depends on you. It might hurt when you first do it, but as time goes on, you get, like, like, feet of stone like my feet 
I can't feel anything with my feet. My feet are like, 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 like rock hard. Like I don't feel anything with my feet. Um, let's see. Hours X. Is it true that you can knock anyone out with one, with any kind of kicks during the shuffle? <laughs> Is it true that you form a furring tornado when you spin? <laughs> Actually, when I'm messing around with my friends. I do, you know, like the, the T step kick thing. Sometimes I do like to mess around. I don't really knock them out, but it hurts, I guess. And yes, I do form tornadoes when I spin. So, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I don't. But yeah, um, let's see. How do you dance and not tip over over being six foot tall? <laughs> oh, drones. This is one of the hardest that killed his members original members I love you bro but um no 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 serious how do you make your dreadlocks hmm. how did I make them well let's see I was like 12 no I was 11 and when I started my dreadlocks and I went to this I'm not trying to be racist or anything but I went to this like Jamaican shop and I asked for dreadlocks and she started me out and they were like this long and it just passed me, it got longer, more longer, to the point where the, all the way, they can't fit in the camera anymore, so yeah, um, hmm, uh, Tim, I'm not gonna pronounce your last name, cause I might mess it up, are you proud of the other members of your shovel crews? Are there any crews out there you would still like to join? Yes, I am proud of the members of my crews. All of them are like extreme elite people. Like, they're extremely talented, extremely good. All of them, they all have their own their own flavor to their style. That's why that's why I'm in the crews that I'm in. And are there any crews that you will still like to join? There's one more. There would have been base masters, but fuck them. Okay. Um, the last crew that I would want to join is a crew that I've been trying to like grasp like past four years. It's HPP Hard Stop Project. That's the one crew I will want to be in, but I don't think they're hosting tryouts anymore. And every time they host the tryouts, I've gotten declined. So bummer. Um. All right. How did you get the idea to start shuffling? How did you develop your shuffling style? What shuffling styles are your faves? Us, Cali, um, and Russ. Um, the idea that got me started the shuffling was me and my big brother. I was like, I was maybe 13. He was, he was actually getting into it. He was making videos and everything. And at first, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what the hell is this? Why are you like scraping your feet across the floor the shit is gay but then as time went on it started to like kind of like like mold on me and i was like okay this is pretty cool i will learn how to do this so ever since then i just been doing my own things since then um hold on sorry about that uh all right the other question was uh are there any crews well, no 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 not that uh, I'm true. Um, how did you develop your own shuffling style? That was it. Mm, I have, technically, I have two different kind of styles. I have, um, alright, here's how to kind of break it down simply. I have this style with my fats. And I glide around a lot, off style, hard style. That's my natural form of shuffling. That's just how I was raised as a shuffler to do that. But I have a second style that's kind of stationary. It's, it's rocking, I guess. It's more T sub variations. It's more technical. It's harder. And the way I developed that was actually watching people. And I started to take my off style. That was like you know gliding around and all that i just took the off style and i i concentrated it i concentrated it to where i don't have to glide i can kind of like stay in a little square and i can still be pretty good and it's pretty sick 
once you get to the point to where you don't need gliding to look good, that's when you're progressing. That's how you know you're becoming a really good shuffler. Because that means your your style is pretty much it's it's molded into you. That's pretty much how you do it. But I mean most of the time I still like do all videos where I glide a lot with fat pants because I mean it's fun. But my natural form of shuffling is the it's the stationary thing. Because like I said, as you get older as a shuffler, I mean probably right now a lot of you guys are probably into the fat pants and the hoodies and all that. But trust me, as you get older as a shuffler, you're gonna get too old for gliding and wanting to like you know, do the whole off thing. And pretty soon you're gonna start concentrating your style instead of taking up this much space. You're taking up this much space and you'll be able to kill and destroy and make awesome videos. Uh so yeah. Um what shuffling styles are your faves? Oz, Russ, Cali, Rocking. Hmm. My favorite style, to be honest, I'm just being bluntly honest. I don't really separate styles in shuffling because point blank, it's shuffling. So, to be honest, I just do whatever I feel. However I feel is what I do. So, I don't have a favorite style. I just shuffle. So, yeah. Um, Greeno Shuffler, he asked, what shuffles do you like more? Say in order, Radisol, Umbreal, Siki, Thunder, Fungus, please answer. Mmm, that's a hard question, because Radisol is one of my favorites, and so is Fungus. My style is, like, inspired by those two. I love those guys. Fungus, or Fade. He inspired me to concentrate my style to like take to take that small little space, and right also was, he inspires me to take distance. So yeah, um, but if I had to choose one, it would probably be Siki because Siki can do both extremely good. So yeah. Um, all right, so all right. Swing toes, swing toes. I guess he asked. I'm three months into shuffling, still learning a lot. How do I spin without losing your balance and still make it look good? All right, I'm gonna be honest. Spinning it ain't easy. It's not easy. Even till this day, I bust my ass spinning if I don't pay attention. Do you think I'm kidding? Do you think I'm kidding? I finally fell. Oh, my ass. Okay, guys, go, go, go. Let me check the camera. Yes, I do. Oh, oh my god. Oh, there it's. No, spinning is not easy. But I guess for advice to where you won't fall. What I did, I watched ballerina videos. That's it might sound kind of weird, but it helped. Watch ballerina, ballerina spinning videos, and that's pretty much what helped me with the whole balance thing. Into where I can like spin really fast for like a few seconds. I got that from a ballerina video. So, so yeah, just that's just what I do. You don't have to take my advice. That's just what I did. So, yeah. Um. Hmm. My favorite car? My favorite car? I love Mazdas. Mazdas are like my favorite type of car. I actually have a Mazda RX-7 in my driveway. So, yeah. That's my favorite car. Um. 
uh, Haizuboya, he acts, um, um, he acts, where did you get your fats made, and how do you improve spin, uh, I asked him to spin the thing, so, ballerina videos for spinning, ballerina videos, that's what you do, um, but where do I get my fats, I go to Heatwave Custom Clothing, that's where I get all my fats made, and I will continue to get my fats there, because Heatwave is the place to get fats, if you haven't seen my Fat Pants unboxing video, you should go check it out, it's pretty cool, I'm not trying to advertise, I'm just saying, it's pretty cool, so yeah, um, alright, Jose Ferraria? Ver I don't, I don't know, I don't mess it up, he asks, um, um, when are HK tryouts again? Around December, you know. Um, mm, okay, so Radosol, he's extremely busy at the moment. So right now, I'm like the leader of Hardstyle Killers. So I pretty much tell what goes down in Hardstyle Killers right now. And to be honest. I'm not too sure about tryouts. I don't know. It might happen. It might not. I don't know. I can't answer that right now because we're pretty much going through a lot of reconstruction, and I have we have a few things coming up. And if those things don't work, I have backup plans. So yeah, I just have to give HK a range. My wrath is gone. So if we do have tryouts, it will be in December. But if not. I don't know, I don't know, but Rasu says I have the word for now, but he's gone, so I'm the leader of HK, and I pretty much tell what goes on, what happens, so this is what's going on in HK, I don't know if we have tryouts, we might, we, we, we might, but we, I don't know, I, I can't answer that right now, I don't know, mm hmm, Alright, um, Dash Shuffling, he asks, how did you get into any crews? Um, I made a tryout, and I got accepted. That's pretty much the bottom line of it, make a tryout, get accepted, that's pretty much how you get into crews. Um, a reverse bait kick or a regular kick? It depends on what kind of video I kind of want to do. If I want to do like a like os fat pants and hoodies and all that i want a regular kick but if i want to do like stationary mass cali or any of all that all that i'd probably choose reverse reverse base because that reverse base like it's i guess the blood pumping you know what i mean so yeah um i've already answered how that got into shuffling all right so that's it from there all right Ren shuffle hk hsu Ren, my indonesian brother <laughs> He asks, how many times you hit the TV? To be honest, I've never hit the TV in my never room. I've never hit it. I've came close. A few times. But I've never hit it. I've never hit my TV. Nah, I might, you might think I'm lying, but I've, I've never hit my TV. Um, Taz Shuffler, he asks, what are your thoughts on clip stretching? Oh, man. I remember back in 2012 and 2013 when stretching was a big deal, like, dude. It was such a up and down thing with stretching, man. In my opinion, I, I don't care. Well, I don't care to a certain extent. Stretching, it's okay. Like, um, when I use my lower quality camera, like the camera I use in my living room, I have to, when I put it in Sony Vegas, it has like black bars on the sides, so I stretch so it can fit the screen. That's all the stretching I do sometimes. Or if I use my HD camera, if I want to like make myself seem a little shorter, because I am a really, really tall guy, if I want to make myself seem shorter, I'll stretch the video this way a little bit so I can kind of, you know, seem normal height. 
but if you stretch your videos to where you look like Bulldog, where you look like a fucking chode, that's too much, bro. Calm it down. I mean, stretching doesn't really, it doesn't really bother me, but just don't overdo it. As long as you don't overdo it, you're fine with me. I don't care. Um, hmm. Straight Asian, Asian. Ooh, straight Asian. Mm. <laughs> he asks, "Can you make tutorials to spread your epic skills? How old are you? What inspired you in shuffling? A tutorial, a shuffling tutorial. I can probably get into that like maybe later in life. Probably not. If I do, it have to be like next summer or something. Cause, dude, I am so busy with school. It's ridiculous." I'm school's like an asshole. School's kicking my ass right now, so I don't really have time. I really have time to make videos, but tutorial. If I'm gonna make a tutorial, I'm gonna want to make like a full out tutorial to give you every bit of knowledge that I have about shuffling. And I just don't have that kind of time. And I don't want to give you guys like a fucking like a bullshit tutorial. So I'd rather just you know give you guys like a a well informed tutorial than a half ass one, you know what I mean? So yeah. And I am eighteen. I just turned eighteen March first, so yeah. Oba my nigga Oba <laughs> He asks How can Tours of Version two surpass the original Tours of Now, Oba, you know how I feel about people copying me. I'm not a big fan of people trying to be like me or anything. That really, that get that makes me like overlook you a lot. Uh, I guys always tell you, man. Oba, just be yourself. Get your own style. Get your own flow. Don't copy me. I mean, it's okay to take like a few of my moves, but don't copy everything I do. Like with all these Radisson clones, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, Radisson. He likes it. He thinks it's cool. In my opinion. I don't like that shit. I don't like when people like copy somebody to the T. That's really, that's not original. And it's really boring. I don't really find that cool. All right, Psychoax, who's your favorite O Gen, O Generation shuffler? Like 2007. Mm. Rocky. I explained why it was Rocky in my inspirations video. Cause I mean. I explain on there on my inspirations video, so that's it. That'll be like a 14-minute conversation. I'm gonna tell you why Rocky is my favorite, but you can kind of guess why with the Transformer facts. But if you want to know more, you can check out my inspirations video. And there's like a whole conversation on me talking about why I like Rocky so much. Um, all right, Miguel. Uh, well, I'm just gonna call you Taco. Taco. All right. He asks, is it true that if you spin fast enough, you can travel time? Yes, you can. If you, if you spin fast enough, you'll be able to, like, like touch Sako, you'll be able to touch Bulldog, and all those other legends, you can, like, touch them if you spin fast enough. So, yeah, you can. Um, what are good techniques for shuffling and how often you should shuffle? Um... Good techniques. There isn't necessarily good techniques for shuffling. Because, like I said, shuffling is a dance. You can incorporate anything into shuffling. Anything. Anything you want. It doesn't have to be shuffling related. It can be something from anything. Like, you, probably, you guys probably know what the whip is the whip dance. It's a, it's a, a rap thing, I guess. And sometimes I put that in my shovel just to be different, you know? It's fun, it's funny, so why not? Um, how often you should shovel? Alright, back when I had time to train a lot, every day when I got home from school, I would take it at least three hours of just pure practice, pure shovel practice, pure practice. It felt like I was going nowhere, but over time, it helped. So that's pretty much what I did. Every day I got home from school, I took three hours of pure practice. Um, 
and what do crews usually look for? Hmm, it depends. Because to be honest, like the newer, the new, like the new shelving crews, like the ones that are like really, like not experienced, they just want a shelfer that can cover space and a shelfer that has fat pants. That's basically what they want. But the elite crews, I'm not trying to sound cocky or anything, but the elite crews like HSU and HK and HPP, they want uniqueness. They want variety. They don't want a clone. They don't want somebody who's just like, eh. Because if we just accept the people who are just like, eh, we wouldn't be looked at the way we are. You know what I mean? So, like, HK and HSU, they look for dedication, uniqueness, and effort. So, yeah. Um, and he also said, also what editing software and camera do you use for your videos? When I use to edit my videos, I use Sony Vegas Pro 11, and I use Adobe Premiere Elements 11. If you know it, I mean, it's hard to use, but if you get used to it, it'll be alright. It's just kind of hard to adjust to. So yeah, I use Sony Vegas and um, Premiere Premier Elements. That's where I used to edit. Um, alright. How many years will you keep dancing? I don't really know how to answer that. I don't know how to answer that. Uh, I'm just gonna keep dancing for as long, as long as I can. As long as I possibly can, I'll be dancing. I'll be here, you guys will see me, probably for the next 10 years. Towards of will be here. All right. Um. <laughs> DJ Goji, he asked, is it true that those shelving hoodies are gang related hoods? No. No. Shelving hoodies are dance hoodies. You wear them because you represent your crew, not a gang. This is a shuffling crew hoodie, not a gang hoodie. These are okay. But even though with my Hardstock Killers hoodie, because of the word killers, isn't it? I've got pulled aside so many times by like administrators and all that. Are you the gang? No, I'm not in the fucking gang, man. I'm a dancer. <laughs> Alright. Henry, he asks, would you suck my dick, please? I would really want to know the answer. Yes, I would, Henry. Because I heard feminine people have a lot of juice. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see. Let's see. All right. I think. Yeah. That's that's all the comments for my YouTube. Hold on. Let me go to my Facebook. Cause I actually use my YouTube, my Facebook, and my Instagram. So, give me a quick hot second. Alright, alright. Let's see. Jonah, Disciple, PX. What's your favorite move? And who would you like to see incorporate into their style? My favorite move is like the T step kick, the do like Say this is your body. Say this is your leg. I like the little kick thing. I really like that. If you can like get it on point, that's a good way to get my attention. I love T-step kicks. It's fun and it's cool and it hits the beat hard. And I don't really know because I mean some people already do spin kick. I mean T-step kicks. So yeah. Um, Crystal Moon asks, how many times have you fallen during a spin? Bruh.
Yeah. <laughs> that should answer your question. Um, alright. Colton Grimes. Colton! Um, you asked, what is your top five when you started, and who is your top five currently? That's a good question. Um, my top five when I first started, it was Impact, Calamade, Rocky, Miki, and Typhoon. That was back then. Now, my favorites, my number one favorite is Samurai. Number two favorite is Radisal. My number three favorite is Fungus. My number four favorite is Francis. The Francis in uh, Canada, I think. And my fifth favorite. Mm, it would have to be probably Scotty, because that's my brother. So, yeah. Um, hmm. Raymond RZ, he asks, do you prefer songs with a better kick or song with a better melody? Songs really depends on how I feel. It would depend, like, if I'm in a pissed off, like, if I'm trying to, like, release some steam, if I'm trying to, like, you know, like, imagine I'm killing somebody, I won't want, I won't want more of a, of a hard kick song, like a raw style song. If I'm looking for a melody song, I'm probably in a happy mood. I'm trying to express some happiness or a meaning or something. So yeah. Um, Tommy Siren, Stormy, he asks, "Have you ever actually broken anything by accident while shuffling?" Yeah, I have. The wall, this wall right here. When I first started to practice mass style. I did like this one kick move, and my foot flew into the wall, and I have it hidden. So my people, my people haven't they haven't found out about it, but that's about it. Um, hmm. Clarence X, what's the one song you never get tired of and always gets you fired up no matter how many times you listen to it? Um. That would have to be um, Rebels, Music to Us. That song I always, every time I hear it, I have to get up and do a quick sesh. I always have to. I always, 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 always have to. Um, Alright. So, all right, there's one more on my Instagram, I think. Mm. Mickey's Axe. Can you spin faster and better than Bulldog? That's debatable. I mean... I don't know. I don't... I... I don't know. No. But... I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Um... Let's see. Alright, there's one more. On YouTube. What is all the gear you have? You really... You're gonna make me do this? Alright. Alright, I'll show you guys. All the gear I have. This might take a second, so... Give me a while. Give me a sec. Hold on. Alright. So... All the gear I have. Mind you, this is all the gear I've collected over the years of the shelf. So, yeah, here we go. Um, this is my very first crew that I ever led and made. It was uh, HDU. Uh, that's a verse. But it was Hard Dance Universe. It was the crew that I made when I first made my Torso name. I led it for like a year or two, and then it kind of died off over time. Yeah, this was my first 
crew hoodie back in like 2012 or something. This is a really old, really, really old. Um, this um, fan made HSU hoodie. I made this when I was a new, I was like, like five months into shuffling. And I made this as a fan. And when I made it, I always told myself one day, I'm gonna wear this as an official member. I don't care how long it takes. One day, I'm gonna wear this officially. It just so happens, four years later, I can wear it officially. <sighs> so, yeah, um, that's that. I had my name, Torza, on the side. And had this fan made print on the front. So, yeah, this is really old too, and it's really small. Um, I have a Pure Hard Dance hoodie. I got this. I got this from uh, Heatwave X Custom Clothing. It's in the same place I get my fat pants from. So this is like an official PhD hoodie. Mm -hmm. And that's on the back. It has this on the top of the hood. It has. Uh, has this on the front, the PhD thing, and it has Pure Hard Dance going down the sleeve. So yeah, there's a lot of people who make fake PhD hoodies, but it's pretty easy to tell because they're not made perfectly like how the real ones are, like this. So yeah, I got this in like the beginning of 2013, and this is like pretty worn out because I wore it like almost every day. So yeah. That one, and then there's the official. <laughs> there's the official HSU hoodie. I got this from a member in HSU, and pretty much once you get in, he's the guy who makes the HSU hoodies, and he makes the official HSU hoodies. So once you get in. Just hit him up and he'll send you one. So, yeah. I can't really tell because that's like this HSU business. I can't really put our business out there. But yeah, it's pretty cool because the letters are like really different. Like they're like on jagged and stuff. And I like that. It's pretty cool. And even the uh, print on the front, the letters are really jagged. I like that. And then. There's my baby, my number one, my old reliable. I love this hoodie so much. This hoodie, it's been through a lot, and I just I love this hoodie. It's a hoodie that meant it means so much to me. It, it is my hard style color hoodie. Yes, this is I put my heart and soul into this hoodie. I will not. Do you have anything with this hoodie? This is my baby. This is my baby. It has the HP thing on the front. And it has our dan our dynasty down the sleeve. So yeah, this is This is my baby. You know what? Nah, it's, it's too hot. Never mind. I was gonna put it on not. But yeah. This is my baby. I love this. I love it. Alright. Uh, now on to the more juicy stuff. Hold on. <sighs> the fats. You guys are probably all of you guys are probably seen any of these. These are my first pair of fat pants. Not my first, no. Scratch that. These are not my first pair of fat pants. These are my first pair of heat wave fat pants. And they have these different transformers on there. And unfortunately, these are kind of too small, so I don't wear them that much. And these have a lot of, like, 
flashing sketchy memories, and I don't really like to think about it, so I don't really, I don't really wear these that much. So yeah. And there's the. Then there's my. I mean, there's nothing too special about these. These are just my all black hair. They're just black fats. There's not too much to show. But yeah, these are my black hair. I really use every now and then if I'm gonna give off that like classic feel. You know what I mean? And I have my all white hair. I love these. Even though. Even though I kind of wear these on special occasions, I still love them because they show white, they show happiness, and they show just like the brighter sides to me. So I only wear these when like there's something really, really good happening in my life. So yeah, and of course, these are heat wave, heat wave hats. So yeah. Then then these are my babies, my new babies recently. These are also cute wave fats. So yeah. These fats are huge. Like these fats are like really really big I got them this way so they won't show my feet as much and in respect to my burrata so I got them big because these fats are big so yeah and in here I just have like a bunch of heat wave fat pants goodies and with like suspenders and back feet stickers and all that it's a bunch of stuff in here it's just a bunch of like suspenders and wristbands and stuff I wear them sometimes but you know Oh, yeah. So yeah, this is the Q and A video. This is the end of it, sadly. But I hope I answer you guys' questions thoroughly. And next time, I'll try to have somebody do this with me. So yeah, I don't know when I'll do this again. I really don't know. This is something I wanted to try out, and this came out pretty cool. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I don't know when it will be. Depends on how my school schedule is. So, yeah. I'll see you guys when I see you. Towards the outro.